Hello dear students, welcome back to Royce and Creations YouTube channel. In this class, let us analyze SSLC Science Midterm Question Paper Part 2. Already I have discussed with you till 26th question I have discussed. So in this video, I am going to continue with the 27th question to 38th question. So those who are watching first time, please subscribe and share with your friends. So already we finished question number 26. Now we will go to the question number 27 and explain the formation of ozone with an equation write the preventive measures of ozone depletion so first we have to understand how the ozone layer is formed so ozone is a molecule formed by three atoms of oxygen the uv radiation splits apart some molecular oxygen o into free oxygen atoms which then combines with the molecular oxygen to form ozone O3 so O3 is nothing but it is a ozone therefore how it forms so O2 molecules through the UV radiation it spreads up into oxygen and oxygen so these oxygen is combines with the oxygen molecule then it forms a ozone O3 so this what is the preventive measures of ozone depletion means use of chlorofluorocarbon has been minimized so what we are using the cfc that should be minimized because of that reason in 1987 the unep has passed an agreement to freeze cfc production at 1986 level so we have to uh, cut down the uses of cfc question number 28 draw the diagram showing the structure of neuron and label the following parts cell body and dendrites so here we have to learn four parts also because they may ask next time oxon and dendrites so this is nucleus and this we called as the dendrites then this is the cell body and this is oxon and this is the nerve ending next question number 29 study the following electric circuit and find first one the current flowing in the circuit and second the potential difference across 10 ohm resistor so here they have given the circuit here 10 ohm is there and here 20 ohm is there so these two resistors are connected in series so that you have to understand and here there is a battery is there that uh, carrying a 3 volt so now it is very easy to find first total resistance how much is there see 10 ohm and 20 ohm are connected in series therefore the equivalent resistance rs is equals to r1 plus r2 therefore 10 plus 20 is equal to 30 ohm therefore the total resistance is equal to 30 ohm now current flowing in a circuit we have to calculate so to know find the current we know the formula v is equals to ir therefore i is equals to v by rs so what is V? They gave 3. Therefore, 3 by 30. 3 ones are 3 tens are. Therefore, the answer will become 0 0.1 amps. So, the current flowing through the circuit is a 0 0.1 amps. Now, they asked to find the potential difference across 10 ohm resistance. Across 10 ohm resistance, therefore, V is equals to I into R. Therefore, V is equals to I is nothing but we can take it as a 1 by 10 because 0 0.1 it comes to fraction means 1 by 10 into 10 because resistance they gave across the potential difference across 10 ohm resistor therefore 1 by 10 into 10 10 10 cancel therefore answer is 1 volt so if you have done all these three uh, steps also then you will get a uh, 3 marks next question number 30 how are the functions of arteries veins and capillaries are interrelated in the circulation of blood so first we have to know the function of arteries arteries carry blood away from the heart to various organ of the body on reaching an organ or tissue the artery divides into smaller and smaller vessels to bring the blood in contact with all the individual cells next exchange of materials between the blood and surrounding takes place across thin wall of smallest vessels that is the capillaries the capillaries are thin joined together to form a veins so these veins convey the blood away from the organ to tissue or tissues veins collect the blood from the different organs and bring it back to the heart so this is the functions of arteries veins and capillaries next question number 31 what are the magnetic field lines justify two magnetic field lines never intersect each other very important question children you can go through with the previous year annual exam question paper this question many times they asked so concentrate on these types of questions 
what are magnetic field lines means it is defined as the path along which the unit north pole tends to move in a magnetic field if free to do so that is called magnetic field lines so we have to justify whether the two magnetic field lines are never intersect so the magnetic lines of force do not intersect one another if they do so then at the point of intersection the two tangents can be drawn at the point which indicates that there will be two different directions of the same magnetic field that is the compass needles points in the two different direction which is not possible therefore the two magnetic field never intersects each other question number 32 how does transpiration helps in upward transport of substances very important question transpiration helps in the upward transports of substances in plants by drawing water from by drawing water up from the roots and during transpiration water evaporates through pores in the leaves called stomata this creates a negative pressure in the leaves that helps to move water up from the roots through the xylem so ee rithi adralli transpiration upward ee rithi upward alli agutte next question number 33 draw the diagram to show the reactions of zinc granules with dilute sulfuric acid and test hydrogen gas by burning so this is the diagram very important diagram children so concentrate from the chemistry part next fifth main answer the following question here four questions will be there each questions carry four marks question number 34 give reason for the following arteries are thick wall blood vessels yake avu thick walled blood vessels agirthave because arteries carry oxygenated blood from heart to the different parts of the body so blood emerges from the heart under high pressure in order to withstand this pressure arteries have thick wall okay understood this one yake adu thick wall irutte anta second veins are thin walled blood vessels veins have thin wall because veins collect the blood from different organs and tissues and bring it back to the heart the blood is no longer under pressure and blood flows only in one way therefore it is in the thin wall question number c veins have walls in them may because main function of the walls is to prevent back flow of blood since the blood pressure in the veins is very low they have walls that prevents back flow of blood understood children next question number 35 in that sub questions will be there a question what is a strong acid explain how tooth decay is caused question number b agricultural scientist have suggested adding a certain amount of lime powder to an agricultural field why what what may be the reason for this so first we'll go with the what is strong acid and explain the tooth decay is caused acid that give rise to more ph ion then it said to be a strong acids next bacteria present in the mouth produces acids by degradation of sugar and food particles remain in the mouth after eating so that so the ph in the mouth decreases and tooth enamel gets corroded so because of that after every eating we have to wash our teeth next why they are going to suggest to add the lime powder to the soil because plant requires a specific ph range for their healthy growth and also soil is soil of his land is acidic maybe soil of the land will be acidic and lime powder is is a base so adding lime powder to the soil decreases the acidity property or soil should soil is neutralized because of that they are going to suggest to add the lime powder to the soil question number 37 what is the function of earthing wire why it is necessary to the earth electrical equipment on metal so this question by mistake i have not given so it's a direct question from your textbook question number 37 draw the diagram showing longitudinal section of human brain label the parts that is mid brain and pituitary gland so this is the pituitary gland and this is the mid brain so this is the mid uh, this is the mid brain so diagram is very important children so heart and brain both the diagram you have to practice thoroughly next last question answer the following question here one question will be there that question carry five marks here sub questions are there question number 38 a question name the main basic units of kidney 
give relation between heart problem and function of kidney and explain with suitable reason mention the main function of kidney question number d name the factors which involved in the reabsorption of water in nephron so first question we'll discuss that is name the basic unit of kidney that is nephron very important that is the basic unit of kidney that is nephron next relationship between heart problem and function of kidney the kidney cleans the blood removing waste products and extra water without the kidney our blood would have too much of waste and water without the heart our kidney should not have the oxygen filled blood needed to do these many important jobs so both also it's very important question number c what is the main function of kidney the main functions are to filter uh, filter out nitrogenous waste from the blood producing urine they absorbs minerals into the blood next factor responsible for the reabsorption of water in nephrons are the amount of water reabsorbed next amount of waste in it to be excreted so if you are written all these things then only you are going to get a uh, five marks so directly they won't ask for five marks question so like that sub questions will be there so practice thoroughly children otherwise it's too difficult to pass in science see now onwards if you have started studying you can reach your final exam goal so midterm exam 100 percently it's uh, very important even though final exam is very important you prepare from today onwards then you will achieve your goal so thank you for watching this video if you like this video please share with your friends and subscribe to our channel thank you